you already know what it is. It's your girl, Big Sex Des, and we back with another story time. In this story time, I just want to talk about my older cousin. Now, my older cousin was like the sibling I didn't know I was missing. It's a couple times she almost got sent to jail. I'm gonna tell y'all the both of the occasions. And this is why I don't ride with her, cause I'm like, bruh, you gonna get me, you gonna get me locked up, you gonna get me sent to prison. But anyway, so first time is when my mom was working a lot at the time. She was like working two jobs. And it was during the summertime, and really that year we didn't have summer school. For some reason, they didn't offer it to us, so we didn't have to go to summer school. We was all straight. So obviously, we wanted to be grown to be able to do what we want to do. And then my grandma had other things going on, so my mom was like, "I got an idea. We gonna get y'all older cousin. We gonna get her to watch y'all." Now, let me describe my older cousin. Light skin, tall, and was bony at this point, but they used to call her lips because she had <laughs> she had the biggest she had the biggest lips, bro. It was like bigger than a brack doll. It was like on some. You would have thought she had Botox in her lips, but nope, it's just naturally big. So we gonna call her OG Cuz because that's the original older cousin, right? So around this time, she probably like. I think she, I believe she 18, I'm 14. My little brothers are like 11, cause we're like born three years apart. Now, let me describe the twins, y'all. Twins, annoying, little, two little gremlins. No, let me stop. But one was dark skin, one was kinda like light skin. They always thought the light skin one was like Asian or something, cause my brother had cheeky eyes. And the other one was dark skin. And one said, oh, he got such dreamy eyeballs or whatever. Yeah, I know how that go, but they was both around the same height. They just had so much head that they didn't match up to the amount of body they had, which was very little, very little. <clears throat> and they was like probably up to shoulder, shoulder, shoulder height with me. And you know, like they was pretty cool. Like you know how most people say they got siblings that's like annoying or will snitch on them in heart. They was pretty cool. They didn't really speak on my, nothing. So this is why the summer was lit. Like we did everything together this summer. So like I was saying. My mom, I was in the babysitter. She thought that my cousin would be a good idea. So boom. One day my mom go to work and she called my cousin before she was heading out. She was like, hey, you think you watch your little cousin's day? You know, she'll hang out with them or whatever. She was like, I give you gas money, this and the third, make sure you're straight. So my cousin said, yeah, I would love to hang out with my little cousin. You know, my, my favorite big cousin. So, cause my mom is my cousin, my older cousin's big cousin. You, you got to follow with what I'm saying. Okay, so mom lets us know that my cousin coming over. She gonna be watching us for a day. We can just chill, go outside, just make sure all the chores are done and stuff like that. Now, this is where she messed up. She said we can do whatever we wanted, as long as the chores was clean. That's all we needed to hear. Now, my cousin lived like five, not literally, I can say five minutes, because all you gotta do is turn out her neighborhood and drive straight up the road drive four minutes straight up a road and then turn right and that's our neighborhood so my cousin was like i'll be there in like five minutes something like that so my fast forward my cousin gets there and my cousin grinning ear to ear and she's like y'all already had some fun with y'all because we was like no we had clean so we ended up, you know cleaning up the house and whatnot and she was like y'all remember my boyfriend bear and i'm like yeah we remember him she was like um he gonna come over or whatever as we clean, we gonna hang out, we gonna go to the park or some stuff like that, right? He was like, oh, he was like, okay. So my little brother, we gonna call him um, B Dubs. We gonna call him B Dubs. He was like, but we hungry. And I was like, oh yeah, we ain't eating today. So let, yeah, we hungry. So she was like, I don't know how to cook. Y'all better off asking Bear Big Ass. So I was like, okay, we gonna ask your boyfriend now. Her boyfriend Bear, everyone called him a bear because he built like a a bear he, he big but he he'll get aggressive like a bear he be cut this off like one too but th this like big brother us like we love bear so much so bear used to hang out with his friend eat i'm gonna say oh i have to call him. i'm gonna call eric he used to hang out his friend eric house 
And when he would go over there, you know, he would just chill. Or either my cousin would be over there sometimes, or he would just come over to my mom's house. So he lived like literally down the road on the cul-de-sac from us. So that's what Bear was at. He was like, well, I'm gonna just come up the street, whatever, whatever. So he comes inside the house. He comes up to the house of my cousin my man. And we was like, yo, we hungry and I, my cousin don't know how to cook. And he was looking at her like, how are you gonna take a babysitting job and y'all don't even know how to cook? Like, get, this your first day, you taking an L. But that wasn't the only L we was finna take because they don't need no kids. That, that, that day was a test run. That whole summer was a test run. So, Bear comes inside, he was like, what y'all want to eat? We was like, yo, whatever you can find, whatever. So he finds some little wing dings and stuff like that in the deep freeze and he starts cooking us for it for us right so my neighborhood pretty much a chill neighborhood except for this new lady that had moved in and she was just literally the definition of a caring like but we just didn't care we just didn't want to have no problems with her so this is the first little problem we had the first problem we had was when we had cleaning day and our cleaning day was on sunday we had music playing in our on our stereo system in the house but it wasn't loud like you could only hear it if you was inside of our house i honestly think this lady had y'all remember the commercials where it was like get the earbuds where it helped you hear conversations for over 100 yards away you know commercials used to come on late night um on tv i think she either had that or she dead ass had a stethoscope stethoscope i think that's the word and she just had it jump to the wall of our house and was listening but anyway she like sent the police there saying send a noise complaint saying we was being too loud we was being disturbing in the neighborhood man you just moved in here for 30 days please don't get a 30 day ass woman so <laughs> the officer came and the officer approached my mom was like yo like we got a noise complaint but we don't hear anything i don't know if he was playing music loud so my mom literally like shows a recording of what we was doing because like he was just goofing around having family time cleaning and stuff like that he was like yeah the volume doesn't seem to be an issue like y'all wasn't yelling and hearing each other he was like honestly i'm just ignoring it so the dude the police officer left and not 30 minutes later the same thing happened again where she was reporting the noise so we just knew not to mess with her then the second situation we had was when um she wanted to put up bushes along the we had a driveway. This is the two houses. This is my house and this is her house. Now, right here, before you even get to her house, which is all the way over here, right here to here is our driveway, like it's marked off. The other side of her house, you got her house right here. On this side, and the opposite side will be her driveway. Now, why don't you put bushes on your side of the driveway? You just trying to be funny because you ain't like seeing black folks. That's okay, Miss Karen, but guess what? And it's slavery times. Get over yourself. That's why you was going bald and your dog always ran away. And then you had a nerve enough like black people, but you had a black dog. I ain't understand that one. No wonder your dog stayed running away. You <laughs> So anyway, she take down like measurements on the ground saying that our property was her property. She made this such a big deal that we literally had to get paperwork and show her and prove to her that it wasn't her her property you ain't had no business sitting there so why is you upset but anyway we just let her have it because when i ain't finna argue with no old ass lady old ass karen and you about to be ash ass dust dust in literally a year or two i'm not worried about you your time is coming miss ma'am natural causes you hear me because you're turning to dust you mummy so anyway that's just a little background of her so back to my cousin boyfriend cooking us something to eat he's cooking the um the little wingies or whatever and afterwards time he get the wingies done it was bomb like he made some like spicy um wingies baked wingies whatever he baked them and then he like crisped them in on the stove top and then he put the like the sauce in there and then we had french fries now you know how after all that you gotta clean the dishes whatever now you can't pour straight hot grease down the um down the sink because you end up clogging it because it can congeal and like you not congeal but like solidify and your drains will be blocked so this man he knew the ongoing issues we had with this karen this man thought it's a great idea to show us how to stand up for ourselves he was like you know what i'm just tossing the backyard i'm like okay just don't toss it over the fence he was like why i was like because this lady he was like she caused a problem for everybody we finished end of the day why this man I'm trying to get my cousin to get her man. Why this big old man take that hot grease? Mind you, I'm standing on the back. My, I'm going to tell you how to lay out the backyard. 
we had a front door and a back door. Now the back door connected to the kitchen. This man walked through the back door kitchen onto the patio. We had a nice size little patio and proceeds to go down the steps of the patio. Now, five feet away from, no, I'm gonna say like, at least gotta be 50 feet. 50 feet away from that patio steps. This man walks up to the wooded fence area of my next door neighbor's yard, Miss Karen, and proceeds to throw the hot grease over there into her garden, the little garden that was lined up against the wall. And mind you, while he's doing that, I'm sitting on the back porch, and I'm looking, and I see the blinds flicker. I'm like, yo, the police about to come. We about to go to jail. Y'all not to be allowed to babysit us no more. Y'all going to jail. We going to juvie. That's just what it is. Now, y'all know how I said my little brothers were this. My little brother was geeking, laughing. So I said, huh, 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 that's what they give him. That's what she give him. That's why my mama, she always bitter, bitter. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel you, but the police probably about to come. So the lady was like, I see you. She came out the, once I saw you, I told you I saw the blind flutter. She came out the back patio and she was like, I see you, I see you. So I'm just looking at bear big ass, trying to rush up the steps and we going through the, um, we all run through the back door. And I'm just looking at him like, bro, they don't call CPS because we in the right area for the wrong type of shit to be so my cousin, she's sitting there laughing. She's like, oh my God, man, I can't believe you did that. So I'm like, y'all know she really does call the police. They thought I was joking. So my my cousin's like, all right, come on, let's go to the car. Everybody heard me go to the car. I guess my brothers weren't moving fast enough because they was fumbling with the clothes. She, when she meant go, it meant let's go. So she grabbed me by the arm and we running down the front, you know, the front porch because we ran from like the kitchen to the living room to the front door and her and Bear hopped in the car and they get me in the back seat. I'm like, Bear, where are we going? They was like, your brothers be all right. I'm on my phone now. We have to call from my, um, from Bear phone. I'm like, why we have to leave my brothers and the police about to come? Then they gonna be like, it's unattended black children. Yo, oh my God, I'm about to my brothers in the system. Fuck it with shit. Fuck it with shit. Yeah. She's like, no, 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 I'm not gonna be like that. So we swerve off. We pull out the driveway, back up like this, hit a uh, stir up the road, and y'all, if you watching me in my previous story, you already know how my neighborhood set up. Top of my street is basically my bus stop. You can either go left or right to exit the neighborhood, but it's gonna lead you through more neighborhoods within the neighborhood before you get out. So he barely decides to go right, go straight down, make another right into a neighborhood within the neighborhood, and pull up at his friend's house. Tony, I'm, just, I'm gonna call him Tony the Tiger. He pulled up to Tony the Tiger house, and Tony Tiger was like, yeah, y'all can just pull up in here or whatever, whatever. So when we pull up in there, my little brother's call from my cousin phone, and they was like, yo, like, the police are really outside the house. They knocking on the door, but we quiet. I'm like, thank God they ain't no dummies. Long ain't raised no dummies. She ain't raised no dummies. So then they was, they was like, what should we do? I was like, yo, we got to be quiet. Y'all just like bleeding there. As soon as they pull off, as soon as they gone, we just gonna, we gonna walk back to the crib. Like 30 minutes later, they end up pulling off in the curb because the gang, like, which one is, is, is grease, it's gonna disappear as soon as the rain come. But again, you ain't see us do it, you said you saw a man, so, eh. So, anyway, when my little brother's called back, like, Damn, the, the police had gone, we decided to creep up the street with the same car we fled with. And keep the street, we see no no signs of the police, no nothing. So we come back to the house. My little brother burst out the front door. So I was like, y'all ain't shit, you left us. Y'all was gonna let us go to jail. I was like, correction, juvie or child protective services, however you wanna look at it. But either way, you won't gonna be in trouble, just you. I was gonna be in trouble. So then, here with my cousin last time, so I was like, y'all need to stop playing. Y'all know y'all had fun. We started laughing because, like, it was time. I don't know. Even though we knew we weren't supposed to throw that hot grease over that fence. Or allow someone to do that because we already knew what I'm gonna be with this caring. It did feel, it, it, I felt some satisfaction that was doing to her because obviously she ain't even been took down a couple pegs. You know? So that same day after this shit happened, we're chilling in the house and my cousin decides to let Bear invite some of his friends over. Now his friends, like, like, like I'm saying, like five years older than me, 19, 20, mid 20s, like they're pretty much grown or whatever. He invited their friends over, over to my mom's house. Now, I don't, I think my mom knew stuff like this was going on, but my mom was so chill and had so much confidence in my cousin that nothing would happen to us. Like, she believed, she really believed nothing would happen to us, right? 
later on this day, I told you, you know, he had the little homeboys over. And this one friend, we're gonna call him Sneaky D. Sneaky D was like three years older than me. He was 17 and I was 14. But he always had an interest in me, but I didn't have no interest in him because one, y'all know how y'all got people with them fingernails that's bitten down, like all the way down to like the finger meat to the point where their finger be rounded and it look like a nub. Like, I don't like that. I don't, and I don't like when people got the hangnails and look like they just sit there and Damn, peel their ish back with their banana. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like. I didn't like that, and I don't like the fact that he liked to steal. He never stole from me because he ain't never want to try. But he liked to steal from other people and try to present it as something that he bought. And I just wasn't into like, like fake flexing and whatnot. And plus, this man was psychotic. And let me. I'm gonna just tell you how I knew Sneaky D was psychotic the first time I met him. Another dude in my neighborhood, we're gonna call him Pretty Ricky, and he had a crush on me. And I knew he had a crush on me, but I ain't never given the time of day. But Pretty Ricky meant that he was gonna, you know, stand up and show love, but he had to fight Sneaky D. Him and Sneaky D was like talking about me. He was like, no, that's my girl, I'm like, I ain't nobody girl. And he was like, we gonna fight it out. And they ended up getting to fighting. And Sneaky D ended up leaking Pretty Ricky shit. And I was like, all right, Pretty Ricky, I still don't like you. This doesn't give you no cool points, but I'ma patch you on up. You can go about your way. And I was like, Sneaky D, you fucking weird, dude. Like, you're gonna go to jail with that type of attitude. He did end up going to jail. That's a story for another time. He was on the, he made it to the news, damn it. The news. But anyway, <laughs> Bear had Bear and his homeboys came over and they were Sneaky D. And Sneaky D was like, hey y'all, I got a crib or whatever we can go chill at. My little bro was like, oh, I can't wait to smoke. Da, da, da. I'm like, you 11 years old, you ain't been smoking. They're like, you 14, what you got been smoking? I'm like, the business that got this doing it, the fuck? <laughs> but I eventually let them come along because at the end of the day, we couldn't leave them at the house by ourselves because the area that we lived in, not that it was a crazy area, but we just knew if someone knew that your child was in the house by, the, by themselves and they wasn't at least 14 or older, they come to the police and saying it's child neglect. It's just how it was in my neighborhood. Anyway, we go to the spot that Sneaky D was talking about. Now, the spot that he was talking about in particular was literally up the street from my, like three houses down from my house. And we was chilling over there. It was his house, but then his mom came home and went off. It was like literally as soon as we got there, his mom pulled and was like, I, I, I don't know what y'all think this is. I ain't friend of So he was like, okay, I got something else. And then he ended up um, going, Sneaky D ended up going off to a corner to talk to Tony the Tiger. And Tony the Tiger was like, oh yeah, 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 we do got that spot. So they come back to me and my cousins and my brothers and her boyfriend. We on the street, it's like, Tony the Tiger, Sneaky D, Bear, the twins, and me. That's like six, seven people. So he was like, "Yeah, we got this spot around, um, like down the street, around the corner. You know, it's the house. We got, we got the way into the house." So he was like, "Yeah, I got a key." He was like, "Yeah, something like that." If someone say something like that, it ain't something like that. It, it's being me, but we just went along with it. So my cousin was like, "How you enjoying your town with your big cuz?" She over here nudging me. I'm like, "Yes, I should." I see Sneaky D. I ain't. I was like, "I know you see me not paying no mind though." No mind though. So when we have this conversation, CD was like, y'all ready? So we started walking up the street. Then we had to make a right down the street. Then we had to make a left. When we made a left, it was like this nice little one level house, you know, pretty simple. It had front and back doors, right? But the house in particular, I had a feeling, I was like, didn't someone just move out of here? They was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, so how y'all got the keys? Is it y'all the runner? They was like, no, nah, we don't got no keys. We were just not get inside. Why are these boys, why are these men broke? You have them door things that they have like from to go around the doorknob when you rent a spot, but you just give them an access code and you get the key. They broke that and got the key and opened the door. So we end up inside there. It's nothing but space and furniture. We all chilling there, smoking, got, got music playing. We have a a grand old time and while this is going on i'm standing by the window and it must have been my ancestors telling me to look so i look to my left out that window and i see a police car no there like, ain't no way then i saw another police car pull up i'm like oh it's a way the devil didn't found out so I, I, 
could have my cousin she in the in the kitchen well it would be a kitchen if it was stuff in there it wasn't even not even a stove or a dishwasher in there like nothing i'm right now i'm like yo we gotta go we finna go jail they was like what i'm like yo it's two police cars outside. outside. Y'all ain't had no key to get up in here. They ain't no furniture, so we can't play it off like this. Some more white people. How? What the hell? We going to jail again? She's like, girl, you said that earlier. We go to jail. I'm like, this that we going? So while we having this conversation, everybody like, Sneaky D, Bear, my little brothers, looking at me. I'm looking at them. We packing. I'm like, shit, epic. It's only two officers and it's two cop cars. Someone gonna have to take the L. But whoever it is, you better not say shit. They probably gonna let you go. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. When, when we said that, all here was a knocking at the door. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm running to the back of the house. And I went to the back of the house. I, it was like a long, kind of narrow hallway. These houses in my neighborhood was built weird. Like some of the houses that looked small was built big. And then some of them that looked big was small. But it's like a narrow hallway and it's two doors on, on the um right side and on the right the first door was the bathroom where I ran to like try to look for an exit so I'm thinking yo the police definitely gonna go to the back door and they might be just running with the guns but you know the whole time they was both at the front door but we didn't know that I didn't know that I just knew I had to get the F out of Dodge so my little brothers and my cousin behind me and I'm running to the, the I, I passed the bathroom because that was just the bathroom it had no window so I get to the next door on the right and it was a whole master bedroom but it had a window now the window was facing the backyard and the backyard had a um a, a drive like the backyard had a driveway at, that connected to the street on the back side that makes sense so i'm looking at the window and it's not like we are stories off the ground it's literally you just if you stick your leg out the window then swing your body out on the other leg and touch the ground you're good you're great you're there's no reason why the following events should have took place while I'm about to tell you guys. So, I made sure my little brothers be out the um out the window first, and I get in the house key. I'm like, yo, inside the house, lock it, don't open it that jump till one of us tap on the door or tap on the window. I was like, y'all know that, right? And they was like, yeah. And then they, they just ran off and they went separate ways. They broke off. Now it's time for. By this point. I think like Nasty D and Tony Tiger and them had already went through the back door. Well, Bear had to go through the back door. Nasty D went through the <clears throat> through the window with us. He went out after my brothers. Now it's time for my cousin to go. And now like the knocking, the banging, the police banging is getting more and more persistent. And they're yelling now at this point. And my I'm looking at her like, yo, like come on, like let's go, let's go. Let go, let go. Why? I make it out the window gray. It's her turn. Why she try to go out the window? Head first. You heard me right. A window where you can just stick your leg out and put one foot on the ground and then, and then swing your body out and then the other foot. Yeah, she just decides to step back a couple feet like this. She can see it go. Yeah. the window which i think happened the dummy got towed up going through the window now how did her skinny self manage to not use the window pane to knock the skin off her elbows and shins she did that head hit the ground i'm looking at her all jumbled up pop <laughs> i'm laughing but the whole time i'm like you know jogging the place like yo come on come on come on they ain't gonna keep knocking this door Forever, and you know, I'm pretty sure twins wonder why they ain't see me running down the street. Yeah, I would have been high tailed it. She gonna stand up real slow. So I'm, so, I'm like, yo, if you go, come on. I grab her by the arm and we start running. She was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, girl, you can cry at my house about those little minor scrapes and issues. I don't know what possessed you to go head first through the damn window. But now I look at you. Like, yeah, I'm coming off of we all end up arresting all that shortly you because this is a trespassing charge. She ended up running me up the street and against my house. Everybody recuperated back in the backyard of my house. Everybody. Even my little brother's house. I thought they got you. I'm like, no. He was like, what happened, happened to um Cuzzo? Cuzzo got dirt on her knees, on her shirt. 
her little smooth slick back. Y'all know them banana clips. Y'all remember the banana clips? These slicky hair back to them on her back snap. It's only one piece in her head, the other piece gone. I'm like, oh my god. She over there. Her own boyfriend laughing at her. I was like, bruh. Later on, around later on the day, it was like a couple of, two hours past it, that nigga still joking on cousin about how what happened to her, and nigga kept acting like, "Why well, would make you go ahead first something?" She was like, "I don't know, I just heard police, it's not just a panic." I was like, mm. "Y'all hear that? You don't commit no crime with this one right here." She go, Mom ended up calling her and telling her like she was on the way home from work and she was like, How was it with the kids? And my cousins just started laughing because I was like, huh? It was a great time. Mom came back. <laughs> Mom came back, my cousin was all patched up. I was like, what the hell happened to you? But yeah, my cousin was sent me to jail. My cousin was sent me to jail like multiple times. That was my childhood. The one time it, it almost happened, I'm not gonna go to jail. The one time it almost happened, I was pretty sure I was gonna have to go to court mess with her. It's because like a couple months ago. I was visiting at home. I needed to pick up a few items from my homeboy house. From my other homeboy. And this is at nighttime. And she was like, oh, I can do it. You know, you know, I got you. I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm thinking, all right, cool. She gonna scoop me now. This is about big cuz. She was like, I'm, I'm gonna scoop, whatever. I'm like, all right. Because, you know, we still live in the same spot. She's not far from the crib, so she come and scoop me. Now it's around like, I want to say 10 o'clock at night. Damn, it is shit is and around this time, it was like a lot of like racial things going on. Not like I mean, everything about race, but it was like a lot of racial tension with the, between the police and people of color and just traveling safely at night. Now my cousin drove Lyft for a living. So I'm thinking, you know, she know all these things. Your, 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 your driving shit going to be in order. Like your tags, your plates, you know inspection stickers, stuff like that. Nothing, never have I ever thought I would have to start checking people that I hang with tags on the car. But after this day, I did. My cousin scoops me, right? She's like, where we gotta go? I'm like, oh, we gotta go up on um, Steel Bridge Road. Now, Steel Bridge Road is where a lot of people get arrested. It's arrested for like, they know who's just pulling people over for the slightest thing. So I get in the car with her and me and her, you know, obviously we roll up before we pull off, but we end up smoking on the highway. You now on the highway, you know, everything fine, Danny, but I had this feeling like we were being followed. So I didn't think much of it until we got off in the exit. I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, it's the same car because I saw the side paneling. Now when I saw the side paneling, it said, police ain't a little hell no. But I was like, maybe it's going the same direction because we are going to this, this area where we know a lot of cops work at, or you know, you know you know what I'm saying? Like, they just didn't populate the area. So, like, five minutes of getting off our exit, we driving down the road. We passed, like, three of the cop cars. They didn't think none of it. The cop car that was behind us, they got over to the left of us, sped up a little bit, looked at us. Then they, like, dropped off off their speed, like, you know, slowed down their speed. And they ended up getting back behind us. Now, my cousin, she, she was like, girl, I think we got to pull over. She's like, because my tags. I'm like, what she mean? Tags? She's almost like, my tags, they bad. My tags, they been expired. I'm like, how is you driving for living? Your tags expired. She's like, I only do lift rides during the day because they be too busy during the day to stop anybody. I said, so if you know this, why ain't you offer to do this during the day? And I'm like, you do realize I have a whole bunch of Mary Jane on me. Did you? She's like, yeah, but, yeah, she's like, oh, oh, she's like, hold on, I think, I think we're about to veer off in this, um, she had cut me off, because about this point when we were driving, she see, like, a, a parking center en route to the address that was taking us. Now, we was literally five minutes from my homeboy. So we parking line, the police pull in right behind us. But if you're in the parking line, you're parked, they can't give you a ticket. So my cousin hurry up to park in the parking lot space, and stopped the car and made it seem like she was looking for someone in the car and the police just drove around waiting for like 10-15 minutes the whole time she doing that I told you how I had that whole lot of Mary Jane on me I'm over here 
I know that all cops in this area is men. So I knew if this nigga went in my cootie cat, my cootie cat purse to see if I had drugs, sir, I'm suing the hell out your ass. The county, the state, I'm suing the hell out you. That's why I always keep keeping kitty cat purse. So anyway, I'm taking the stuff, I'm like, yo, you got a plastic bag, a ziplock bag or something like that. She's like, yeah, so I'll take it out the paper. And I put it in a plastic bag and I'm tired. And she's like, what you about to do? I'm like, girl, I'm about to stuff this for me, try to pull up out this parking lot and go back home. I was like, oh, so I'm about to see if my homeboy want to bring me the object since I'm only five minutes from the crib or whatever. So I stuff it. I hide it, you know, in the internal compartment. And I hit up my home, but I'm like, yo, I'm like five minutes from your crib, literally at the store. Can you just come bring it to me? Cause my cousin ain't tell me that her tags was dead on her car. So I ain't trying to get arrested or nothing like that or have no dumb stuff happen or be stuck in the middle of nowhere. So can you just come bring it to me? He like, oh, uh, nah, I can't cause of my like headlights or something. I'm thinking to myself, any other time, you driving 30, 40 plus minutes to somewhere else, but again, I'm not sure, girl, I'm not gonna check nobody, but I was just thinking this to myself. Any other time you can drive X, Y, Z to certain places for however extended amounts of time and you wasn't worried about that. I'm telling you five minutes, so I gotta retrieve items and you you just, I was like, man, I just went ahead and just not responded to the, not responding. I was like, you know what, all right. So I just left alone, they were, then they shot me a text. I guess they could tell I was, like feeling that way. I wasn't feeling this that way, but it's more so like, nigga, you five fucking minutes away. If you don't go ahead with that bullshit, I kinda if you just don't wanna do it, just say you don't wanna do it. But to give someone a bullshit excuse is uh, that's just stupid. So anyway, I got a text and I was like, nah, I just couldn't do it. I don't wanna risk it. Da, da, da. I'm like, that's all you, I was just thinking that's all you have to say. So I just read the text messages and took note of it. Shout out to my mommy for my new case. But, um, yeah, that happened. And I was just like, bruh, let's just go ahead and go to my house. And I was like, at this point, I don't care if I would get it or not. Like, I'll go get it another time. And I looked at my cousin, I was like, don't you ever waste my time like that. Because this was a, a long drive itself. And the simple fact that you scary like that, girl, if you don't go get the hell away from me, you still scary after all these years, after all the dumb stuff you did around me. Mm. They ain't thugs, they be faking. Anyway, that's my little story time for y'all. My cousin almost got me sent to jail on a handful of occasions. It's plenty more story times than that. It's plenty more. She a ball. That's my favorite cousin, but yeah. Till next time. If you like, comment, subscribe, so you can post post notifications on the both channels. And I love you guys. Be safe. Be the best version of the show you possibly. And I'm out.